What's going on YouTube? If you come across this video, you like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel. This is Earl Vernacular TV. Being blunt and sparking conversation. Sparking conversation. Prior to October 7, the biggest news in America was either Donald Trump, still talking about Donald Trump and the cases in which he faces, or it was Ukraine. Russia transgression on Ukraine as the West tried to depict the narrative. But on October 7, the trajectory of the news changed completely around when Hamas, a Palestinian political group, governmental group, or terrorist group, some would say in the West, a terrorist group, terrorist organization, Hamas is looked at as a terrorist organization by the United States and the European Union. Hamas attacked Israel concert Goval, killing over 1,200 and kidnapping a few hundred more. This brought me into the examination of what has been going on in Israel or what has been going on as far as the conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. 75 years since the state of Israel was created. When the state of Israel was created, many Palestinians were taking off the land. The Palestinian people, they remember the Nakba, the day of the catastrophe. That sentiment, that death and destruction still carry on today. And this is what we see transpire in 2023 when, when Hamas attacked Israel. There has been discussion all over in politics and in international relations. Is it feasible to have a two-state solution? It is not feasible to have a two-state solution. Israel is the imperial power. The Palestinian people are not power in the sense that Hamas is not a power in the sense that will rival Israel. A two-state cannot be feasible. Israel has to maintain that dominant relation that dominant power within the discourse between the Israeli and Palestinian conflict as it relates to the two-state solution. I'm examining Israel from the standpoint of Israel to me is seen as the outpost of American imperialism in that region. Israel is the outpost of American hegemony in that region. When Israel was created in 1948, Israel came into existence to have its own governing body, political body, structures that will benefit the Jewish people from the prosecution in Europe. But since 1948, you can see the state of Israel have spread, 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 continue, 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 land grab, land grab, land grab, land grab. So Israel is, is, is widening its territory. With this current conflict on October 7, Israel have drove hundreds of thousands of Palestinians off the land. Plans are being put in place in the West Bank to build more settlements. Israel, for me, represents the outposts of American imperialism in that region. The United States is the most powerful nation in the world, i.e. because of its navy. United States Fifth Flea is over there in the Middle East region. Controlling and patrolling the waterways. United States is the king of the ocean. Israel for me represents the outpost of American imperialism in that region. When the British Empire was coming to its dissolution, the British, they understood that they cannot let the Arab control that part of the world in totality. The United States understood the Arab cannot control that part of the world in totality. So Israel was set up as the outpost of Western, most importantly Western, but American imperialism in that region. 
If you see the conflict that is going on between Israel and Hamas, majority of the weapons that are being used are being funneled to the Israeli by the United States. Israel has a hold on the United States politics with organizations such as APEC controlling the money, controlling the conversation, controlling what politician and their views on Israel. If you're a politician running for a political office in the United States and your political agenda, your foreign policy agenda differ from Israel, APEC is going to check you. The Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, exerts so much power on the United States. I remember when Obama was in power. Netanyahu came to the United States not notifying President Obama and went and spoke to Congress. Got numerous and numerous and numerous of standing ovation. Because while Netanyahu was in disagreement with President Obama, former President Obama, and he plans to sign the JCPOA, the Joint Comprehension Plan of Action that will curb the Iranian nuclear, nuclear ambition. To me, Israel is seen as the outpost of American imperialism. Israel is used to assassinate any opposition that the United States has problem with, whether it's in Iran or whether it's any part of the Middle East, whether it's in Syria, whether it's, if it's in Iraq, Israel represents not our post. Israel exerts so much power on the United States politically. The police forces in the United States, they are funded by the Jewish organization to go to Israel to learn the different tactics, occupation tactics that Israel have mastered the Inter-Defamation League fund the United States police to go to Israel to learn these different tactics. Israel is an occupying force. As we see the conversation taking place all through the university campuses, they want to harbor the black Claudine, I think, on the harbor on, on, on president. They want her to resign because they say anti-Semitism is spreading through our American university. You know the problem that is going on in the American universities? There's a lot of Muslim students there. So, white America, Jewish America, whatever propaganda you spread about the people from the Middle East, these students, these young folks, 18, 19 years old, they are interacting with one another. So, they're starting to see all the propaganda that has come from, you know, the news media about the Palestinian and the Israeli conflict. The narrative is being controlled on what's going on over there in Palestine. You had Jimmy Carter talk about Israel, is the Israeli apartheid uh, regime against the Palestinian. You heard former Holocaust survivor Dr. Gabon Maitier talk about why he's not a Zionist no more. He said when he visited Gaza, this this is a man who is trained to deal with trauma. A Jewish man who is trained to deal with trauma from a Holocaust survival. He said when he visited Gaza, he was traumatized for three weeks. He cried for three weeks. Israel represents the outpost of American imperialism in that region, American ambition in that region. That region is the most critical part of the world where two-thirds of the world oil supply comes through. There must, there must be stability. There must be the constant flow of oil, as we remember during the 70s, the oil crisis. Wall Street understands that Israel must remain, remain that power, that dominant power. The U.S. government understands that Israel must be, remain that dominant power to keep the balance of power within that region. As we say in political science, the balancing of power leads to war. If you go and get you a chopper and I got a 4.5 and you go and you get your M16, I got just a 22 caliber pistol, a 4.5. I said, my op over there is building his artillery, his weaponry. So I got to build mines. So you see the proliferation, whether it be in Saudi Arabia, Israel, Iran, Turkey, all these nations are pursuing nuclear ambition 
As we know, Israel got 300 nuclear weapons, according to Jimmy Carter, and his, his data that he put out. Israel got over 300 nuclear warheads. The proliferation. Israel must maintain our power within our region. If everybody else can get a nuclear weapon, Israel will no longer have the comparative power within that region. Israel represents the outposts of American imperialism in that region. American hegemon in that region. As I examine what's going on in the news, it's also the conversation on racism is going on. You have Hollywood Jewish folks in Hollywood saying black people are brainwashed to hate Jews. That this supported Jewish Jewish people supported black people during the civil rights. Jewish people fought along with black people during the civil rights, but they also benefited. Benefited from the affirmative action that was given. So when you examine the state of Israel, the state of Israel itself, I'm speaking from a political level, the state of Israel. It's an occupying force. It's a colonial force. It's a colonial power. Israel seek not to have two states with the Palestinian. The Palestinian got to have no power and Israel got to have the power. It's a race dynamic also. It's a race dynamic. A Palestinian life is not worth a Jewish life. We all know that. A Palestinian life is not worth a Jewish life. Israel, to me, represents the outposts of American imperialism in that region. In the United Nations right now, the sentiment have changed about Israel. Israel is seen now as a pariah because the whole international community is calling for a ceasefire. But yet, Israel is going on. Backed by the United States veto power, Israel is going on. Going on. With the genocidal that is being that is taking place. Israel represents the outpost of American imperialism in that region. Comment, like the video, comment if you disagree. Let's have a discourse from at far. This is Herb Vernacular TV.